And welcome to your gold market update for the 2nd of August 2022. Mike Smith, senior analyst at Gold Markets here. Across the news wise today, we've got US markets closing weaker overnight in a cautious session. Obviously, we've got jobs data coming out later in the week and a big week of earnings. We had some mixed PMI data, which wasn't disastrous by any stretch of the imagination, but still is reflecting this soft economic situation that is very much part of the market chatter at the moment. Earnings are continuing to surprise to the upside in 73% of companies reported so far. 55% of companies have reported on the S&P 500. Obviously, we add a heap more to that number this week. And so we'll have to see whether that continues the positive nature of market sentiment at the moment. US futures are slightly lower in Asia and Asian indices are following that slightly weaker US lead. ASX is down around 0.4% at this stage in the trading day and European futures are also suggesting a slightly softer open down around about 0.5% at this stage. US dollar index despite that equity market weakness continued to slide through monthly lows that we discussed yesterday. Gold subsequently has popped higher again and is now eyeing 1800. A little way to go yet but it looks certainly on the cards. Oil is weaker, which is good news, and is pulling back towards that $100 a barrel level on the Brent crude contract. And the VIX is slightly higher on that equity weakness, but still at three-month lows. Copper has pulled back from resistance at 355 as risk on assets are taking a pause just until we get some more market information across the wires, of course. Bitcoin is trading in a short-term range and is below that 23700 which was the high from a couple of weeks ago. As I've already suggested, we've seen a ramp-up of earnings again. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday are always historically the busiest days in the earnings season calendar. And tonight we've got AMD, Caterpillar, PayPal, Electronic Arts and Starbucks amongst many reporting. And much the same Wednesday and Thursday with lots of companies giving their numbers for the market to contemplate. Today is a quiet day today, but we have got the interest rate decision out of Australia with a rate hike of about 0.5% expected. And of course, we've got a busy rest of the week with US jobs reports kicking off tomorrow with the ADP, then the weekly on Thursday and then NFP on Friday. A couple of charts of interest today worth having a look at. Once again, we're seeing significant yen strength. And if we look at the Canadian dollar yen, we can see this pushing down below that one or 188 level we've referenced previously. Looks as though we are getting a continuation of this. This is where we opened in Asia. We dropped throughout the US session on virtually all yen pairs and continued to move downwards through the course of the morning today, trading towards the lows at this stage. In terms of where we could go with this, it's actually very difficult to find a key level unless we go down as far as around about this 10103, so around about 85 pips from where we're trading right now. On the ASX, there are a few, despite that general weakness today that have caught our eye. Sigma Healthcare is one that continues to drift higher. And we've discussed this before when it's around about this 57, 58 level, but now we're seeing it up to 63. Where could this go? Well, if we look at a longer term chart, uh, then possibly targeting, if we break 64, a move up as high as 68 or even potentially 70 in the longer term. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.